So we're heading back to Indiana after spending the week with my cousin here in Kentucky. Because we're meeting up with Alan and Patty. Hello, sugar. <laughs> This is absolutely insane. I've never seen a lake this big. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her, and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. So we're heading back to Indiana after spending the week with my cousin here in Kentucky and we just have to fill up with fuel and it's super different there's Ricky as you can see filling up with fuel and he's um, busy doing it himself which we're not used to so that's fine we're like in Grenada we had someone filling up for you in South Africa you have someone filling up for you um, and here it's all do it yourself which I don't know I kind of like Ricky's trying to figure it out should we go see what he's doing Did you pay with credit card? No. Do I have to go pay first? I think so, maybe. Couldn't figure it out, so um, Ricky went and keeps saying PC cash here. I don't know if it doesn't want to accept our South African credit card or whatever. So he just ran and go and sort it out. But yeah, kind of biggish learning curve moving to a different country. <laughs> We have to start from scratch, driver's licenses, do all the tests again, open up new bank accounts, build up your credit score again. So, but we're excited. This has been our dream for a very, very long time. So. He's got it figured out. Let's go see. I gave $60 and then I selected what, what I want and they loaded the 60 bucks. And whatever I don't use, I just go fetch back. But why have a credit? Why didn't it work with the credit card? For tank forty six bucks. Not worse than South Africa. So this car is not bad. This car is pretty good. Where are we headed off to now? Now we're gonna go to Walmart. One of Ricky's favorite stores. Yeah, baby, Walmart. I'm gonna go get a little bit of snacks and then hit the road to work, baby. What's your, what, how do you feel about Kentucky? What's your, I like, well, well, I like what, the, not, the, not the whole Kentucky, but Louisville. I enjoyed the outskirts a lot. I think the outskirts with the farms and stuff like that are very, very nice. It's beautiful. I think this whole place um, is pretty beautiful though. But people here, very friendly. Very nice people. I think, yeah, I think it's, it's a, I think it's amazing, amazing town. But above that, I think it's amazing country. Oh damn! So mm -hmm. I'm super stoked. Leaving Kentucky. Leaving Kentucky, hello Indiana. Technically, all we when we're in Indiana over here, like now. Now, now we're in Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> uh. My goodness. Where are we at now? We're at Bass Pro Shop. And it's freaking huge. Ricky has a secret obsession with Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops. I won't lie though, the store was pretty cool. After all our road trip stops, we were finally in Indiana, so we checked into the hotel and got some rest. Ricky, I'm done editing my video. Costco time! Huh. This is the whole video. 
Can I told you surgery? Ah, uh, the joys. One thing that is very different, like the hotels and stuff, for your what you get for your for what you get in South Africa for the price that we paid for what this you pay place. For what you, get? you pay f what? You pay for what you get here. No, but I'm saying like if you had to pay what we paid now in South, in Africa. South Africa, you'd get a pretty like nice place, breakfast included. Yeah. Like you get a not five star, but I mean, you'd get you'd a get a five star, maybe even four star, yeah, like borderline four star. Yeah, you're getting like two star. Yeah, and a bed, and uh, so yeah, it shows you no breakfast. Just a bed, very basic room. So, but I mean, it's a place to sleep, so we weren't gonna pay a lot of money for a bed. Yeah. We're not even spending really much time in the hotel room anyway. But so. yeah, it's, it's learning. It's all about learning and It's all about learning. It's different, but we're having a lot of fun figuring it out. And what did you get today? No, no. Oh, Panda? Panda Express. Panda Express. Gotta try the. What is it? Orange chicken. Orange chicken. Like I first I thought, mm, orange and chicken. That's not gonna go good. And the spicy beef. Um, Beijing beef. Beijing beef. Beautiful. And then I had the healthy one: broccoli and cabbage on the side. So Mon went with the noodles. The it was good. And what else did you get today? That was it. What else did we get? And it's your social security number. Oh, I got my social security number. Let's tell you what it is. Nah, I can't. It was so good. So I'm stoked. Yeah, it's good. And hopefully tomorrow, bank account and my driving test. So we tried to open a bank account up this morning. Um, we needed a few more documents. So we're heading off to the bank later we had an appointment for later so we'll go later and get all that sorted out and um we were gonna go for a snack but ricky just passed the grocery store so i assume we're not going for a snack so there was a house with a flag on it this wasn't that house it looked like this is probably the golf course it's a retirement village off to uh what's this place called burger a something burger place a burger joint because they're meeting up with Alan and Patty, our American grandparents, who sailed across the Atlantic Ocean with us. Well, not on our boat, but on their boat. And we haven't seen them in about 10 months. And if you guys don't know who they are, 75 years old, the two of them sailed just them two on their own boat across the Atlantic. Well, they circumnavigated, yeah, they but circumnavigated. they did this last Atlantic crossing at the age of 75. Absolutely amazing, and I think freaking power to them. Um, they have now, they've, they've recently put their boat on the market. If it hasn't been sold, we'll drop a link to it below. But um, absolute amazing time they did, I think 12 or 13 years sailing around the world. An amazing time, and now they're turning over the page to the next chapter. And um, so, what's the odds? They drove from Florida to, they're driving up to Wisconsin, and um, they're passing they're through. passing through indiana they want to meet up so amazing we're gonna go meet up with them we're gonna go see we're them give you a hand oh, thank you <laughs> welcome appreciate it thank you so much <laughs> the weekend had arrived once again, so we had to go check out some of the cool lakes. So Rick and I decided to drive around here today. And What's up people? And we came to um, check out the little lake or dam or whatever you want to call it. I think it's a little lake. A little lake, yeah. And it looks so nice. Like people have houses all around this lake and then they climb on their boats and they just go spend the day out because it's summer vacation so all the kids are on the dam and I like it. I like it a lot. Coming? Yeah. Let's go. Eat the goose. Oh, it's the food 
some bread. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. Hello, hello, hello. Quite big, eh? Yeah, it's huge. Like this thing goes far down. Not just this little piece. Like all those houses we've been. Cool. You're gonna float there down. This is cool. We were a bit scared about adapting to just land life, and now we can see that wouldn't be the case with all these beautiful lakes around us. It's a weekend and we're heading to um, Michigan. Michigan. The weekend? How was your week? Did you work off? It was a long, hard week. It was good. It was productive. And we got our snacks for the road. Strawberry. So Simone and I just drove two hours from Indiana, three hours north, and but I want to show you this. I've never seen anything like this. For those of you that live in America, you'll probably have seen it before. Maybe you haven't. You don't have to run, hun. <laughs> South Africans, when the when the little walkie man goes on, you run. But um, I've never seen this. This is absolutely insane. I've never seen a lake this big. Looks like the ocean. You can't see the end of it. It's just like endless, endless, and fresh water. Look at this. Is the color of the ocean. How insane is that? Like you swear, that's like a school of tuna or something bubbling over there. I don't even know what's happening over there, but like you, you just, you don't even see land. What? Crazy. Level 10. Gotta love America, baby. So this is amazing. This is seriously amazing. Imagine Lady Africa's here. You could literally, you could be sailing this. This would be freaking awesome to hey? Don't you do this when you go through yes, the Yes, this is part dive? of the intercoastal. Oh, shit. Hey? Maybe we should just do it. I see w as well. That is phenomenal. Check, there's no it's way. It's insane. Like, okay, it's probably a good day today, but there's no waves, nothing. Like, I don't know, 20 it's miles? Like the perfect day of safety. 25 miles out? Like, you can't see the other side. That's nuts, man. And there's the road and there's hotels and everything going on there. We parked up in there in the parking lot. But this is crazy. This is mind blowing. It is seriously mind blowing. Comment down below if you guys have been to one of these great lakes. It's crazy huge. Like you think of it as big, like you see it on the map and you're like, wow, that's huge. But seeing it as something totally different. We carried on our road trip to Sogatak, where we would be staying for the weekend. Ooh. 
stay tuned till next week as we carry on exploring beautiful Michigan and road trip back to Indiana with a few stops on the way. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.